Good morning, everyone. I am Sophia K.C. Herja. And I am Macy Ayn Gifalanda. We are going to talk about Rosemary Rizzo Pars, The Human Becoming Theory. But first, let us know who Rosemary Rizzo Pars is. Rosemary Rizzo Pars was born on July 28, 1938 in Pennsylvania. She graduated from Duquesne University, Pittsburgh. She also received her Master of Science in Nursing and her PhD degree. She then became a professor at Emerita Loyola University, Chicago, a consultant and visiting scholar at the New York University College of Nursing and a fellow in American Academy of Nursing. Rosemary Rizzo Pars was the founder and editor of the Nursing Science Quarterly and the president of Discovery National. When Pars published her first theory in 1981, she then received two Lifetime Achievement Awards, and her books were named as the Best Picks List of Theory Books twice. The Society of Rogerian Scholars merited Pars with the Mark E. Rogers Golden Slinky Award. Moreover, she was also the recipient of the New York Times Nurse Educator of the Year Award in 2008. The following are Rosemary Rizzo Parr's works. Nursing Fundamentals, published in 1974. Man, Living Health, A Theory of Nursing, published in 1981. Nursing Science, Major Paradigms, Theories, and Critiques, published in 1987. Illuminations, The Human Becoming Theory in Practice and Research, published in 1995. The Human Becoming School of Thought, published in 1998, and An International Human Becoming Perspective, published in 1999. Influences of the Theorist Dr. Parr studied many philosophers when she was creating her theory. She was also greatly influenced by Martha E. Rogers, a nursing theorist who developed the theory of unitary human beings that was published in 1970, which views nursing as both science and art. This is a way to view the unitary human being, together with the environment as one, as they are essential to the universe. The works of Dr. Rogers and philosophers are complex and require careful study for understanding. Thus, Dr. Pars presented her theory in a way that made the philosophical principles easier to understand and lent itself to developing a curriculum in human becoming education. The Theory of Human Becoming and the Nursing Meta Paradigm Fawcett, in 1989, defines four meta-paradigm concepts in the discipline as a person, namely the human beings, the environment, health, and nursing. However, Pars' meta-paradigm concepts of the discipline of nursing are human beings, environment, and health. Excluding nursing as she sees it as a scientific discipline, focusing on the nature of human beings' patterns of living health. Thus, according to her, it is inappropriate to include nursing as one of the meta-paradigm concepts. Fact! The Human Becoming Theory was not the original title. It was first called the Man Living Health Theory in the year 1981. However, in 1992, it was then changed to the human becoming theory when the term mankind was referred to as a male gender in the dictionary which defines a man. Focus on the model. Parsons' work focuses on the human universe, a health process, which she regards as a phenomenon of concern for the discipline of nursing as well as on a co-created human experiences. 
The goal of the discipline of nursing is the quality of the persons, families, and the community's perspectives. The goal of the human becoming nurse is to be truly present with people as they enhance the quality of life. That is by Rosemary Rizupars in 1981. According to Pars, the principles of human becoming theory describe the central phenomenon of nursing, which is the human universe. The principles arise from three major themes of assumptions, and each principle describes a theme with three concepts. Each of the concepts explicates fundamental paradoxes of human becoming. first major theme, meaning, which leads to the first principle, structuring meaning that has the concepts of imaging, valuing, and languaging. Next would be the second major theme, rhythmicity, concerning the second principle, configuring rhythmical patterns of relating is the revealing concealing and enabling limiting of connecting separating. Lastly, the third major theme, transcendence, relating to the third principle, co-transcending with possible is the powering and the originating of transforming. The Human Becoming Ontology The Human Becoming Ontology, composed of nine original assumptions of PARS way back in 1981, but it was later revised in 1998. The original assumptions were synthesized into four assumptions, namely, human becoming is structuring meaning, freely choosing with situation, human becoming is configuring a rhythmical human universe pattern, human becoming is co-transcending illimitably with emerging possibles, human becoming is human universe co-creating a seamless symphony. These assumptions are statements that are accepted as truths without proof and are also based on values and beliefs. Postulates are statements that are agreed by everyone to be correct that will serve as a basis for reasoning, discussion, or belief. Parsis theory makes assumptions about humans such as humanism, open being that can freely choose meaning in a situation. The human is coexisting with its environment. The human is constantly evolving its pattern of relating its values and language. In becoming, it is consistent with the man living health theory that becoming means rhythmically coexisting and evolving on what the environment is. Likewise, becoming is a continual process of emerging transcendence with the possibilities. The Paradigms of the Discipline of Nursing These are the different paradigms of the discipline of nursing. In totality, theorists see people as different parts that are needed either adaptation or self-care. Simultaneously, everything is subjectively defined. Individuals are not irreducible. In simultaneity, theorists do not believe that people are the sum of their parts. Rather, they believe that they cannot reduce people down to their parts. The human becoming, Parsa's theory, was more on the simultaneity paradigm. She talks about the conception of the human universe. In terms of the four meta-paradigms, she believes that the human and the universe are one, that they are not two distinct identities. The human universe individuals are indivisible, which means that they are not irreducible, and this theory goes back to the simultaneity paradigm. The application of a theory may not be possible without understanding it. Parsis theory revolves around the human universe and the human becoming. As the nurse plays a vital role in accompanying patients as they journey toward a better quality of life. A 
application of Parsons theory. In nursing education, Parsons theory allows nurses one to be able to respond new possibilities in the nursing social order to take care of the community by gaining new perspectives to understand the needed good quality life in patients. Also, it allows one to understand and provide experiences to the student nurses on the diversity of patients. Lastly, it is to educate student nurses and let them learn the significance of structuring meaning, rhythms, and overcome with possibilities. Consequently, in research, it heightens the understanding of the human lived experiences, it also expands the theory itself, and creates new nursing knowledge about human lived experiences which can help contribute to the better quality of life. Lastly, in practice, the theory enables nurses and or student nurses to know more about the human lived experience and how can the patient achieve good quality of life that depends on their perspective in life to guide patients to their desired health outcome, and to have the ability to diagnose patients using diagnostic statements in Parsons' theory. Thank you for listening! That is all for our report in Rosemary Rizzo Pars, The Human Becoming Theory. This is the list of references that we use in making this report.